So what does HIV virus do in a cell? Most other RNA viruses just go inside the cell, act as mRNA, get transformed into proteins. But these are retroviruses and they contain an enzyme known as reverse transcriptase which allows the RNA to be converted into DNA because the reverse transcriptase is an RNA dependent DNA polymerase and what it does is it makes double stranded DNA from the RNA template of the virus and then integrates it into the nucleus of the cell. This DNA which is produced is known as proviral DNA or cDNA. It has sticky ends like transposons and they get integrated into the host DNA. After an integration of proviral DNA into the human genome, it may remain latent or may activate to orchestrate viral replication. This may happen by stimulation of T cells which activate the HIV LTR region promoting viral transcription. New viral particles are formed, go on and on, infecting new cells. What happens when HIV enters the human body? The primary targets of HIV are CD4 positive T lymphocytes and CD4 positive cells of monocyte lineage. Virtually any cell that expresses CD4 molecule with co-receptor molecules is susceptible to infection. Other cells that possess CD4 receptors in lower concentration are macrophages, monocytes, dendritic cells. So how does HIV bind to CD4 receptors? There are two cell surface proteins, CCR5 and CXCR4 that are produced by T lymphocytes and macrophages. These serve as cofactors with the CD4 molecule for binding of HIV to lymphocytes and macrophages. And you need to live, remember this very carefully. Uh, R5 strains of HIV use CCR5 as co-receptor and X4 strains of HIV uses CXCR4 as co-receptor. And without these co-receptor, the HIV cannot enter the cell. So, the people who don't have CCR5 receptors are resistant to HIV. They cannot have an HIV infection. CCR5 is expressed on both monocytes and T-cells and CXCR4 is expressed on T-cells but not on monocytes or macrophages. The CD4 receptors appear to be involved in T-cell death. Monocytes and macrophages which possess CD4 receptor in lesser concentration are not destroyed as extensively as are the T-cells. And I would like to mention that this is clinically significant in two ways. The monocytes and macrophages serve as a reservoir for HIV as it replicates protected within these cells from the immune system. These cells migrate across the uh, BBB, carrying the HIV to the central nervous system. HIV causes brain disease and predominant cell type harboring HIV in the CNS is monocyte macrophage line. So these two cells have a peculiar role in the pathogenesis of HIV. And this is because they have lesser CD4 receptors.